Well, now we have a little bit of rain happening here today, folks. I'm going to try to do a little bit of milling today. I like running the mill. It's pretty fun. But I went at it and I cleaned up around the mill this morning a little bit. While I had some free time, the gentleman was talking about coming to get his truck today. I'm not sure if he's going to. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'll show you what I've been up to. I went at it and I cleaned up some of those small poplar boards that we had cut there. I will probably store those up in the old place somewhere. Some of those little ends too, those 5x5 five five ends. And there's some some nice uh, boards here. That's some 3x3s three I was using for the for the uh, racks. I guess I had a piece left over. I tell you, it sure warps once you release the pressure from that bark. Anyway, here's what I did this morning. I started cleaning up around here a little bit just so I can I can work around. I want to eventually cut up, mill up all this poplar, but it was getting hard to walk around in here, so I just scraped this back a bit. And uh, yeah, I threw a small log on the mill. I think I might go at that. I got my little grass trimmer too, and I trimmed in the back here a little bit. I thought I'd clean out around here. That hump is actually sawdust that will scrape. I'm thinking of putting a roof over here very shortly. I think I might start, it, start cutting some timbers for that. So, that's what we've been up to this morning. I might run some of those logs through the mill as well. We will see what takes place. Jeez, I have the whole fleet of four-wheelers out here this morning. A little red when the rear tire keeps going low on it. But that blue one works pretty decent. This old Honda works pretty decent as well. Anyway, that's how she'd be looking out around here now. You can see it's a lot better to stand as well. I scraped it really good with the bucket. But now I think I'm gonna run that small pine through there. And I have a decent pine log here as well. Kind of underneath those slabs. I didn't want to run it through the mill earlier because it was a brand new blade on the mill and I didn't want to dull it too badly. But now I've been cutting with that blade for a while, I can run it through just before I sharpen it. I think I might pile my lumber over there. I might I might build a small building right in there just to store, store some of my, my lumber in, I'm not sure. Anyways, that's what, uh, that's what we're up to today.
you gotta love it, eh? You gotta love it. I started recording and I guess the battery went dead. Anyway, I ended up getting those 2 by 4s cut from that little log that was on the mill. And then I brought the trailer over with the tractor and I'm about to load that large poplar. Well, I started cutting this poplar and uh, kind of looked quite comfortable. I don't know if I'm going to finish milling it or leave it as a bench like this. It's about nine and a half, ten inches thick roughly. And it's fairly wide, I think. I don't know, I might cut it in half maybe and leave it as a bench for around the campfire. That is, uh, quite comfortable I say. <laughs> yeah I'll measure that and we'll see how wide we can cut. I'll take a look at this. Oh it's not that wide I guess. It's only 14 inches. Well from bark to bark we're 15 inches. How about this little spot here? Ooh that's a dark spot. It must hit it's some dark. dirt. Yeah it's fairly narrow. But we are at... Ah uh, that's rounded. It won't hook there. Thirteen feet long at the end here. And we are at... Bang. How thick are we? Well, we'll just go right here. Nine and a half inches. That would make a sturdy bench, wouldn't it? So, uh... So six and a half foot long. Two six and a half foot long benches. I bet we could do that, eh? Be better two, eh, than, uh... You'd rather two of them, eh, instead yeah, of just one Yeah, two would home? be... What's that? Two would be good. Two would be great! So... Maybe here. That's what we're doing, folks. I'm gonna see if that battery saw has enough power to cut that. I think my battery was pretty low. Well, there's one of the slabs I cut too. You see the slab on there? And while you're checking that out, I am going to try to cut. So 13 feet. So if I cut it right here, I think my battery just would get in this though. Yeah, it's not gonna cut too much. But anyways, how's that look? Pretty good there. I measured it, but we'll see. I'm just going to trim this up a little bit, maybe later. We'll have two benches for the garden. I'll cut some posts, put it underneath, and uh, I'll set it up fairly high. But that was heavy. We had to use the tractor to roll it once it was on the mill. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was trying to clean up some... Uh, Clean out some logs today around the mill. Too much, too much, too much laying around. But I think that will make a good bet. You know, I don't know, let me see here. Yeah, see, I think I look a heck of a lot uh, more Burt Reynolds sexy on the <laughs> long log now that it's cut in half. 
<laughs> yeah, it does kind of. <laughs> you don't really do it justice anymore. It's not as you you don't you still look sexy, just not yeah. as sexy as on the long one. It, the shortness kind of takes away. It from does my, take it away from it a little bit. My uh, dainty, slender figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Definitely. I guess uh, it's starting to rain and. Uh, it's comfortable. I wouldn't say it's the softest, softest spot I've ever laid, but uh, it's nice and cool. A lot of moisture coming off of it. Yeah. I think if I can find an eight foot log, I think I will maybe uh, cut it at least six inches deep and I will put, I'll just set it on some uh, logs that are flattened on two sides. I'll put them right at the end and I don't think they will fall off that way. I'm going to look down here and see what I have for a log, something I can get four two-footers out of. That one might be good, you know. Ten, that's nine and a half, so, uh, yeah, it's a little dirty. I think I'll cut that. It's, it's uh, easily eight foot. So I'm going to remove those benches, set them on the trailer. And I'll load that on the mill and we'll get to her.
mud on this, but I'll take the slab off the top. I'm going to cut that. We only need an eight foot section out of this. We don't need it that long. So I'm going to cut eight foot's really right here. So if I cut it, it's got to slide this way lots. So really, two, four, six, eight. I don't even need it eight feet, you know? I wonder if I can slide that down a little way so it's in line where it should be. Holy mackerel. Strip off that. <laughs> okay, now eight foot will be there. So I'm gonna cut it right here. See if little gutsy will do this. I'm sure that's what would happen. sides on this. I think I didn't mention that earlier. And then flatten two sides, cut them about two feet somewhere around there and lay them on the ground and set those posts on top. Set my benches on top. Our benches on top. Okay, there we go. There's one locked down. When you build a mill like this too, folks, build the style of locks I did. Make sure your pipe is a little lower than this, so no matter where you put your log on, the log doesn't jam your locks from sliding. That's so one thing I made sure I did. I made sure everything was lower than the bunks. Set this here. Start this up. Bring the camera over here, babe, where you're going to be safe. Put it right down the end there. Just in case that blade jumps off.
at, that's still somewhat green.
enough for one bench.
that's good. That's pretty comfortable, you know. Try that out. I don't think too many people's gonna move those by accident. Our Fred Flintstone bench. Good height? Probably. Eh? Not only is too close to the fire either. No. I think it's pretty darn good. So would you like the other one on an angle over there, maybe? Well, if you put one on, are we gonna put four around here? Or just yeah, we can cut some more if you want. Yes. They don't have to stay here permanent. Yeah. They're easy to move. Where do you like? The other one over there? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Oh, okay. Inside. Then the other one goes there. Well, we'll do that, folks, and we'll be back. project well there you go folks that's what we did with those comfortable yes nice height too isn't it yes well that's what we did with this afternoon folks and uh, I think it's gonna be quite nice sitting there it'll be hard to move I think eh? you won't you won't trip and knock them off will you no, I don't think I'm people having a few drinks. So, uh, <laughs> Knock them over? Knock them over. <laughs> and I tried to keep them far enough away from the fire, too, that they wouldn't light on fire. That's what we did. I think they will be a nice, cheap, darn near free addition to the little fire pit. Now, this fire pit will get moved out of here, obviously, once... We finish the garden. It won't be in here anymore. It will be out behind the house. But these, as you can see, they move very easily. I think they will be quite fine. Oh, we turned it around too, by the way, because the arch was going the other way when we first put it down. I didn't notice, so we turned it. Now the arch, it's like it wraps around the fire. It feels cozier that way, don't it? Yeah. Anyway. All you good folks, take care, and we will more than likely see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.